On Tuesday, June 4th, saw the final set of teams of riders gearing up for the inaugural Manibela Challenge at the KDR Adventure Motorcycle Park in Orani, Bataan. The Ducati PH team made an early start on the obstacle course. According to Ray Relativo, the team leader of Ducati PH, they encountered difficulties with obstacles that required tight cornering skills. Among these challenges were the switchback, the first obstacle, and the snowman, the second obstacle, which featured a zigzag course and three progressively smaller circles. Yung Ducati, hindi talaga kayang lumiko kasi design yun sa high speed, di ba? Hindi talaga design para sa mga ganitong obstacle. Pero nakaya na naman. Also part of the team was Alfred Watermax, the co-host of the Manibela program. He noted a distinct difference between experiencing the obstacle course firsthand and merely commenting on riders' performances as a program host. Well, nung ako yung nag-participate uh, na, iba yung adrenaline syempre. Kaya lang, iba pagka alam mong live na, tapos sinicheer ka ng mga grupo mo, ng family mo, nandito sila full support. So talagang yung adrenaline mo, pang-pump talaga eh. The group completed the Manibela Challenge in 1 hour, 40 minutes, 38 seconds, and 79 milliseconds, with the entire team satisfied with their performance. Actually, this is a very, very beautiful course and I will always recommend sa lahat ng riders to improve their skills in terms of uh, control of the bike, balance. This is a control track, eh? so it's very safe. Wala masyadong speed, so ayun, yun nga, it requires precision. Ang maganda ito ang naisip ng KDR kasi pag natapos mo ito, gagaling ka sa road. Pinaka-basic training to kailangan to ng mga nagmumotor kailan madaanan nila tong course na to. Meanwhile, Mariah Chua from the Ducati PH team also competed on Tuesday in the female category. She became the first woman to participate in the Manibela Challenge utilizing a motorcycle weighing over 150 kilograms. Chua completed the obstacles in nearly 13 minutes, overcoming some obstacles but struggling with others due to their physical demands, such as loading the bike onto the vehicle's rear and the elephant turn, where the bike is tilted sideways and the rear wheel is skidded around in a circle on the ground. Very happy with my performance, kahit na medyo may mga drop bikes, but I was able to overcome all those uh, obstacles. Actually, this is my first time to join uh, this kind of challenge. Po. On June 13th, other participants will compete in the individual female category. Later in the day, the progressive team also took on the Manibela Challenge, marking the final group for the team category. According to Nino Tobiano, the team leader, they prepared for the challenge by creating their own motorcycle course in Bulacan. They even had their own versions of the switchback, snowman, and elephant so, turn. So, practice kami una nga sa planta ko. Then, I also have a farm in Bustos, Bulacan. Gumawa rin ako ng parang course na kagaya nito, a little bit. Ko ano yung mga mahirap na, tech, na part, yun ang ginaya ko. Motivated by their desire to support a home for the aged by purchasing supplies like diapers and medicine. The team included an 18-year-old rider who only started riding large motorcycles last year. Despite being one of the youngest competitors, he finished almost as quickly as some veteran riders, just less than 10 minutes. Well, I think, uh, ibig sabihin siguro uh, na napagda napagandaan. And thankful din ako na uh, prosigido yung team namin na uh, ihanda yung mga players. The team also included retired PBA player Mick Pinisi, who began motorcycling in 2019. Absolutely amazing. It was something that uh, put me out of my box, out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm usually riding on the road with, with a big adventure bike and this challenge is is exactly what it is. A challenge to, you know, to test your skills as a big bike rider. And uh, I loved every bit of it. It actually showed me that I'm not as good as riders as I thought. So I, I recommend anyone that has an adventure bike or whatever come and try this course. It, it, it'll 
definitely humble you. They completed the Manibela Challenge in 1 hour, 55 minutes, 58 seconds, and 30 milliseconds. Participants in the Manibela Challenge highlighted the camaraderie among riders due to the teamwork required to complete the course. Additionally, they found inspiration in completing the entire course and not giving up because of the beneficiaries who could benefit from the prizes. The awarding ceremony for all categories of the Manibela Challenge will take place on June 16. Official running times of all teams and individual categories will be announced in the event, along with any additional time penalties incurred. JP Nunez, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.